Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to split comma separated values or other delimited uh, data into separate rows. So what does that mean? Let's say we have, this is a simple two column table. And we see our other column here has items that are separated by commas here. And what we want to do, so this is the same table, uh, but it's not just color coded here, just got some colors. And what we want to do is we want to take those items that are separated by commas and break them out into their own rows. So you can see here, there's four uh, values here in this column, item 14, 17, 15, eight, and eight for invoice number 1011. So we can see that we have our invoice number 1011, these four separate rows for them, and we have four separate rows for those item numbers, 14, 17, 15, and eight. All right, so they're all separated instead of commas in their own rows. And it's the same here with invoice 1547. We've got our range of items that were originally separated by commas in its own row. In its own row. So how can we do that? Well, we can do that with Power Query. And let me go back into our data tab. And we have our two column table. And we're going to use Power Query to do this. So this is Excel 2016. Power, Queries is, Power Query is included in Excel 2016, but in previous versions of Excel 2013 and 2010, you'd have to download it off the Microsoft site and enable it. But it has a really cool feature where it lets you break this up pretty easily. So I'm going to go into Data, and I'm going to get in Transform and click from Table. And what it's going to do, it's going to look at the range of data that I have. It looks like it's selected it correctly, and it's going to turn it into a table. Uh, this check mark is going to be checked because my first row has headers or these uh, head, uh, header fields. Click OK and it's going to open up the Power Query editor window. And once that's open, we can do some transformation of this data. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to separate out the comma separated values in separate columns. All I need to do is click on that particular column and go to split by column by delimiter. Now, it's going to ask what delimiter it is. Even though it's comma separated delimiter here, you, you can imagine that if you had other delimiters like semicolons or dashes, there's a whole range of things you can select from to help you split it out. So it's already selected comma. I've selected comma. I want to have it at each occurrence. And under this advanced option is where you can select it to put it into its own row. You can see if we had selected to stay with the default with columns, it would put item 14 in one column, item 17 in one column. Let's, let's see if we can move this out a little bit. No, we can't. Well, item 15 in one column, item 8 in one column. But we don't want that. We want to put it in rows. So if we select the rows radio button, it's going to have the rows separated out for those uh, S, uh, comma separate values. Click OK. And now you see Power Query do its magic. Look at what we've got. We've got four rows for invoice number 1011, and we've got our items 14, 17, 15, and 18 all in one row. All I need to do is just press uh, close and load. It's going to put a new worksheet into this workbook and have our uh, separation of our items, right? So that was really easy to do when you really think about it. If you didn't have this particular feature enabled, you'd have to probably go use the text to columns feature in Excel and then maybe do it manually if it was a small uh, record set or write some VBA to do it uh, or some other functions to do it. But with Power Query it makes it so much more easy. So that's how we can split comma separated values or any kind of other delimit, uh, delimited data into its own separate row using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.